Welcome back. President Biden and former President Trump visiting the border today as communities across the country face growing strain from the crisis. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez joins us now. So, Mayor, welcome. You say the border Thank crisis you. hasn't been properly addressed. So you went down to McAllen, Texas. Tell us what you saw. There's two numbers that jump out at me. One of them is the more than 7.2 million people who have entered into our country illegally since Joe Biden took office. That is larger uh, than the population of 37 states in our United States. The second number that jumps out at me is the number of deaths from fentanyl. This is something that I've seen as an issue across the country in, in cities and states across America that I've traveled to. It's the equivalent of a 747 crashing every single day. So think about that. If a 747 crashed every single day in our country, all air traffic would come to a grinding halt and we would do everything that we had to do, dedicate whatever resources necessary to stop it from happening one more time. And yet it's happening every single day as a result of the fentanyl that's coming in through our southern border. So those are two statistics that I think frame uh, the argument, which is why immigration has now become arguably the number one issue in the presidential race, which is why, of course, ironically, now the president wants to uh, visit the border. Uh, the former president, President Trump, made this uh, his number one issue yeah. uh, throughout his administration. And, uh, and I think you saw the success uh, in terms of the, the reduction in illegals that were entering, mm -hmm. the fact that you had to stay in Mexico uh, to seek asylum and a variety of other mm. policies that reduced uh, illegal immigration significantly. Mayor, the can law, you bring this closer to home as well? What are you seeing the impact in your city, in Miami, from illegal immigration and all of these gangs and the fentanyl that we keep hearing about as well that's infiltrating, trying to infiltrate a lot of these big cities? We've been very fortunate because, as you know, we have a zero tolerance policy on a lot of these things. And so we, we have record low homicide rates. Our homicide rate was lower last year than it was in 1947 when we started recording homicides. Where we do see uh, a, a big impact is in our school system. We had 14,000 new students last year, which is the equivalent of seven 2,000 student schools. That is a tremendous strain on the school system and one that we have to, to deal with. Uh, so, so we definitely see it. We, we are a, a border city insofar as people come in through the ocean as well. And of course, people that traverse, uh, traverse the southern border make their way to Miami as well. Mayor, can I just switch gears for a moment and talk about cryptocurrency? Because we're watching Bitcoin Absolutely. as it continues to soar. And you were one of the early adopters of crypto in general. You stuck through, you know, stuck up for it during the good times and the bad times, um, even wanting to use it within the city for payment purposes and whatnot to ado adopt those technologies. We're looking at Bitcoin right now just uh, under 61,000. Your thoughts on where we go from here? The ETFs have generated a lot of interest. Some say we're poised to even go higher. Yeah, even I took my salary in Bitcoin yeah. uh, for over a year. So uh, that's certainly in order to my benefit. Look, I think the mainstream adoption through the ETFs, through uh, some of the large money managers, uh, is something that is inevitably uh, pushing up the price of Bitcoin. I think also the poor management of the monetary system by, by large countries. When you see rampant inflation, the printing of money, um, what you see in Bitcoin is a, a, a system of exchange that is outside of human control and of course, we know that unfortunately, uh, oftentimes when you put a system uh, within human control, then you get politics that get involved, uh, presidential elections. Uh, you know, are the, is the Fed going to reduce rates to try to prop up uh, the, the presidential candidate of their choice? Right. Things that should not have anything to do with monetary policy. And so people are fleeing those kinds of systems and going towards systems that they feel more confident in, like Bitcoin. Right. Get off the political grid, just like my colleague Taylor says sometimes. Mayor Suarez, we got to leave it there. 